Hello and welcome to Career Launcher. Cat is less than two months away, and through this series, the first video of which is this one, uh, forty-five days to Cat. Through this series, what we will do is every day we will be able, we will be releasing. Certain set of practice questions through different that cover different areas. For example, the first video will be covering quantitative ability and three questions from the area of algebra. The next video will be covering a data set of missing data from DILR. And so every day, 45 days to CAD, 44 days to CAD, 43 days to CAD, so on till one day to CAD, we will be providing you with enough number of practice questions that you need to go through. If you go through in the last one, one and a half months before CAD, I think it will be a material that will help you to gauge what kind of questions you can expect from each of the topics and how to actually go ahead and think about them and answer the questions. So let's look at question 55. A function f is defined recursively. Okay, recursive function, repetitive function. So by f of 2, f of 1 is equal to f of 2 is equal to 1. f of 1 is 1, f of 2 is 1. And f of n is equal to f of n minus 1. Minus f of n minus one. Okay, so f of n is equal to the difference between the two previous functions. Difference between the two previous functions. For example, if I put n is equal to three over here, so I will get this f of three should be equal to f of two minus f of one. f of three should be equal to f of two minus f of one. Similarly, I'll get f of four is equal to f of three minus f of two. So in these kind of questions. You'll typically have to write a few functions, write up to some number n, right? Some small number n, and then try to find out if there are some patterns that are possible. If you once figure out that pattern, then you will be able to find the f of any number that is there. We want to find function of 2021. We want to find f of 2021. Let us start with f of 3. f of 3, we know here I have written it. f of 3 must be equal to f of 2 minus f of 1. We already know f of 1 and f of 2 are 1. Let us, in fact, start with f of 1. f of 1 is given as 1. f of 2 is given as 1. f of 3 will be the difference between f of 2 and f of 1, which is equal to 0. f of 4 will be f of 3 minus f of 2. f of 4 will be f of 3 minus f of 2, which is 0 minus 1, minus 1. f of 5 should be equal to minus 1 minus 0, which is minus 1 f of 6 should be equal to f of 5 minus f of 4, which is minus 1, minus of minus 1, which is equal to 0. What is f of 7 going to be? f of 7 is going to be 0 minus of minus 1, which is going to be plus 1. f of 8, again, is going to be 1. f of 9, by the same process, is going to be 0. f of 10 is going to be minus 1. f of 11, is going to be minus 1. f of 12 is also going to be equal to 0. So what you can see is that this function repeats itself. The values thrown out by the function repeat itself in every 6 integer. It repeats itself in every 6 integer. It repeats itself in every 6 integer. So what we can see is 1, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0. 1, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0. So f of 13 is going to be, don't bother about it, it's going to be 1 f of 14 is going to be 1, f of 15 is going to be 0, and that is how it is going. So the question is asking, what is f of 2021? See, this is a cycle, this is forming cycles of 6. So our religion says that whenever there is a cycle of 6 or a cycle of k, we divide the number that is in contention by k. So what do we get? 2021 divided by 6. 2021 divided by 6. What is the remainder I am expecting out of this? 2021 divided by 6. So 2019 is divisible by 3. So here I am going to get the remainder as 5. Remainder as 5. So 2021 is going to be of the form 6k plus 5. Because divided by 6, you are getting a remainder 5. 2021 is 6k plus 5. Just go back to your pattern and check any 6k plus 5, what is the value? f of 5 is minus 1. f of 11 minus 1. f of 17 is minus 1. Similarly, any 6k plus 5, 
six plus any six k plus five, we are going to get the same answer. F of two thousand twenty one is going to be minus one. This is how these kind of questions typically are questions that can be solved only by observing what is the pattern that is. There. Let's look at question sixty six. Find the area in square units enclosed by the lines x is equal to three. X is equal to minus one, y is equal to minus one, and there is a more in between. So take there. First of all, I would want you to draw the coordinate axis. You draw the graph correctly, you'll get the answer correctly. So this is the origin zero comma zero. Let us say. Now x is equal to minus one. X is equal to minus one is a line that is parallel to x is equal to zero or the y-axis. If x is equal to minus one, this line. It looks like this. Okay, x is equal to three. X is equal to three will pass through this point. X is equal to three is another line parallel to the y-axis which will pass through. X is equal to three. Y is equal to zero. This is x is equal to three. So whatever is it that we are looking for, the length is four. Okay, the length. This length has to be four. That is something I know definitely. Okay, what else? Y is equal to minus one. What would you? Y is equal to minus one. Will be a line parallel to the x-axis. This is the line. Y is equal to minus one. Y is equal to minus one. The only problem that we have, the only problem that we have now is with mod of y is equal to mod of x minus three plus five. Y is equal to mod of x minus three plus five. Okay. So how to go about drawing the graph of y is equal to mod of x minus three plus five? Simple. Just try and see. Put the values of x that are already given. X is equal to minus one. Put x is equal to minus one in this. You'll get y is equal to minus one minus three. That is four plus five. At x is equal to minus one, you will get this point minus one comma nine. That this mod graph will pass through. And put x is equal to three. We have put x is equal to minus one. Put x is equal to three. The other extreme. At x is equal to three. At x is equal to three. What is it that you will get? At x is equal to three, you will get y is equal to five. Three comma five. Three comma five. But is this a standard approach? I would say it will work in this case because one of the roots of this, when x minus three will become zero, x minus three will become zero at x is equal to three itself. At x is equal to three itself, so it will work in this case. Actually, if I were to draw only the graph of mod of x minus three plus five, y is equal to mod of x minus three plus five, the graph of mod of x minus three plus five would look like this. However, we are not bothered about this part at all. We are only bothered about this part. So, what is the area enclosed by these four lines, the three red lines and the one green line? We are essentially looking at this area, this trapezium. We are looking at this trapezium. We are looking at this trapezium. Okay, such that the trapezium. I think the colors are not very very helpful over here. I'll do another blue over here to show that distinction. So these are the lines that we are interested. In. We are interested in the area of this trapezium. I think you know the sides of the trapezium. You can calculate it. One way you can do it is because this point is five. This point is nine. The midpoint is seven. Draw a line parallel to x-axis at seven. So this is going to be one comma seven. So you can see that this triangle will be equal to this triangle. So basically, now we are only interested in the area of this rectangle. Now we are only interested in the area of this rectangle. The sides of this rectangle. This side is four. This side is seven plus one eight. Four eights are thirty-two. Should give us the answer. Option four. Let's take a look at question seventy-two. If one root of seven x squared plus fifty x plus k is the reciprocal of the others, okay. So the roots are a and one by a. What is the absolute difference between the roots of the equation? Something that involves k. The the point is we have to find k. How do we find k? Seven x squared plus fifty x. Plus k is equal to zero has two roots such that both of them are reciprocals to each other. So, what is the product of roots? 
product of roots is going to be a into 1 by a, which is going to be equal to 1. What is the product of roots given in this equation? Product of roots is given by c by a, which is k by 7. Has to be 1. That means k has to be equal to 7. If k is equal to 7, put that over here. x square plus 7x plus 12 equal to 0. x square plus 7x plus 12 equal to 0. x plus 3 into x plus 4 equal to 0. x is equal to minus 3 x is equal to minus 4, x is equal to minus 3, x is equal to minus 4. The difference between, absolute difference between the roots of the equation is 3 and 4. The difference is 1. Has to be the answer to this question.